Good evening, everyone. Happy Saturday night. So, it's a perfect day for crock pot cooking. So, I did a little slow cooking with um, cube steak. I had two cube steak. And I got a really good recipe. I'm trying to find the other one. There, there are two cube steaks in here, but I'm only finding one. They're, they're really small. Where'd they, where'd they go? Where'd they go? Gee, I think it fell right. I think it fell apart, which is exactly what I wanted it to do, really. So, anyways, I the way I did this was I just uh, took um, my cube steaks and I dredged them in some flour that I seasoned with um, oh, a little bit of paprika, a little bit of garlic, a little bit of onion, a little bit of Italian seasoning, oregano, salt and pepper. Dredged that in my seasoned flour. Used uh, about a half a teaspoon, maybe a tea, maybe a shy of a teaspoon of unsalted butter, and then a little bit of olive oil, and I just cooked the two cube steak um, on the stove in a in a saute pan, and then I just chopped up some carrots, an onion, a little bit of celery, some mushrooms, and my. Italian green peppers are in there and so I have a complete stew. I added two cups of water and two low sodium beef herbox. No so not low sodium, no sodium beef herboxes. And uh, I had two tomatoes. I chopped those up and put them in there too. And then I just put uh, two tablespoons of cornstarch in just now. And it's done. And I let it cook on low for six hours. I'm actually going into my seventh hour because I have it on keep warm for an hour. So it's been going a little longer. Um, and then I just added my cornstarch. And um, now you have it done. Nice little, a nice little, I can't find <laughs> I'm going in search of the cube steak. It literally fell apart. It is like fall apart delicious in here. There it is. There's my other cube steak. It's going to be really tender and beautiful. So if you just cook it, slow cook it, you'll be fine. If you want to high cook it, high, like cook it a little faster, you could do four hours on high in a slow cooker or six to eight hours on low. I would just add more water so that you have um, more of your juice that you need and make sure it doesn't get too salty and cook too long. So I don't, I didn't put a lot of salt in it. I just salted the flour for the, because the vegetables cook down and they get very, very concentrated. So that's my share for Saturday. Dustin's drinking his water. Good boy, Dustin. Good boy. Did I catch a drink in your water? Drink some more water. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah. It's really hard to get a cat to drink their water, and it's very rare that he'll come out and drink the water in front of me. But when I catch him, I always say, Good job, Dustin. Right? Because he's on a diet. You're on a diet, and you got to drink your water. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to taste I'm going to taste. That's it. I'm going to taste. Do, 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 do. Oh, la, la. I hope this didn't get salty from cooking. It's one thing I don't like about slow cooking or cooking something on the stove in the wrong time is things get more salty. So don't put, don't put salt in until the end. Mmm. It's slurpable. I had to slurp that. Okay, it's good. It's good. I tasted. I came, I saw. It's good. And, uh... <laughs> I'm gonna go put this in a container now and call it a day. I hope everyone's having a nice day. Bye.